Yeah, hello everybody and welcome here at Laser Tech in our plant here in Heubach. Um, today we want to take the chance and to show you our latest laser welding machine. Um, we means my colleague Tobias and myself and uh, we want to take, as I mentioned, the chance and to show you this very compact and new developed laser welding machine, so-called ESC 1200B. 1200 are more or less focused on the maximum or maximal length of the workpiece. Um, we are standing in front of the machine and now we want to take the chance and to give you an overview about how the machine is working. So we have, uh, are having, first of all, a manually loaded, unloaded station. Um, for sure, this machine is also having an automation interface. So we can simply add also later on a robot cell or on gantry and so on. So a fully automated system is also not a big deal. Um, this manually loaded machine in this special case is developed for a shaft component based on aluminum material. And um, here we are having an indexing table. So we are having two fixtures. One fixture is here on the loading and unloading side and the other fixture is in the machine room. The machine or the optic is equipped with quite a lot of NC controlled axes. So we are having an X axis, we are having an Z axis as well as an B axis. This B axis is either equipped for a manually operated or an NC controlled version. And for sure the fixture itself as in every EMAG laser welding machine, having also the possibility to turn. So if we later on start the welding process, the workpiece is turning and the optic is fixed. In that case, the optic is before moving next to the workpiece. Then we turn the workpiece and we start the welding process. A very important and new feature is that we have decided to equip this new laser welding machine with our EMAG Aetna HMI, which is a very, very new and I'm really happy to have this HMI surface because it makes the, let's say, the, the, the operating side or the machining side pretty simple for an operator to handle the machine. First of all, because quite a lot of machines are equipped with uh, typical Siemens controls, we have decided to implement the surface also onto this HMI. So a typical Siemens operator, I would say, feels like at home uh, with this surface. Nevertheless, if it has to be more, uh, if there is a more simplified request in regards to the HMI surface, we are having the very right answer with this HMI. And now Tobias will continue in presenting the details. To show you how easy it is to set up a new part on our EMAC HMI, I will show you how quick it is. With the edit button, we can select a new workpiece. On the first screen, we have the basic values in here. The welding parameters, for example, the welding diameters, the gas type, the gas flow rate, something like that. On the second screen, we have the clamping devices, the clamping positions. On this HMI, we can directly set the positions by pressing the plus or minus button and go to to teach and then it's already teached. After that we have the welding positions inside here. You will move with the NC axis, for example the X axis, to the focal position on the workpiece. After that, if you have the correct focal position, you will press the teach all button. All values are going direct, directly into the interface of our Aetna panel. The same we have for the second station of the rotation table, also for the welding positions. And after that, we have the basic welding parameters. This is giving us a an, an very, very nice overview about the possibilities of this surface. And yeah, I repeat myself. At the end, the goal was to have a more simplified surface to be able to add different workpiece types to add different lengths and so on. And this makes it very comfortable because at the end, that's it. And then we uh, save the data and that's it. So then you can simply start to uh, manufacture the next workpiece type. So to come to a conclusion, our goal was today to give you an overview about our new developed ESC 1200 vertical machine. The machine is again having a very compact uh, footprint 
um, with a very, very high output, starting with approximately six second cycle time. And we are really looking forward to have the chance to talk with you about this new possibility. And I ask you to feel free to contact us whenever is needed. So thank you very much and take care. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>